Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Crazy D's Equipment. So today we got something a little unusual. We're going to be talking about a Lamborghini tractor. So guys, no, I haven't gone crazy and went and bought a Lamborghini. Uh, this tractor um, belongs to Tyler Hoover uh, from Hoovy's Garage. He purchased this tractor for his farm. I don't know if any of you follow him, but if you do, he's purchased a farm. Um, I'm not for sure exactly where the farm is, but he thought that, you know, he's a, a car guy and he has Lamborghinis and Ferraris and uh, Porsches and stuff and he thought it would be cool to have a Lamborghini tractor and he found this thing online and he purchased it I don't know the full backstory on all that there But it came in the other day and I was told hey when it gets here to the shop Which all of you know that I work with the wizard with uh, the car wizard up here and We have a shop that specializes in high-end exotics But he sent it up here and he said hey, you're the tractor guy Crazy D, uh, take a look at it. Tell me what you think of the tractor when it comes in and uh, get it off. The, the, uh, the truck driver says it won't start. So when it got here, um, first thing is the truck driver was going all about trying to start it wrong and the battery was dead. That was the sole issue. So we were able to get it started. But this girl, uh, I, I could tell Tyler bought it online. It was on site, on scene because this is a tired little donkey. Um, this, yeah, this is, it's a tired little girl, but let's, let's talk about it a little bit here. So it is a two cylinder Lamborghini diesel, um, front wheel assist. The model of this tractor is a R230 uh, TD. Um, it's a 1969. Um, so a few things that we noticed when I first got it off the truck is once I got it started up, it is running poorly. Me and Doc think that it is possibly only running on one cylinder uh, or not, not running right. We, we've got, we got a bad or dead injector somewhere on here. So um, it is an air-cooled two-cylinder diesel and Doc absolutely loves air-cooled engines. Uh, Doc will tell you they are one of the best things in the world and they are better than a liquid cool diesel and don't argue with Doc. He, he, he gets very defensive on that. So, um, okay. All right. Hold on. Doc's pointing stuff out now. Um, I'll show you guys real close. I don't know if you can pick it up, but there's oil around the, uh, outspout thing clamp for the, uh -huh. um, for the exhaust, exhaust. there. That's what, what's that telling you? That it's either this thing set a while or the it's just she's needing some well, needing rings needing and while. pistons it's and stuff. Yeah. And stuff. So So yeah, Doc yeah. Doc is all about this right now. Yeah, she's 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 like you said, she's a tired she, old donkey. She's a tired little donkey. Um uh, the fuel in the tank, I could tell, was very old. Uh, the top, correct, of the, uh, of the um, air breather's been broke off. And then when you're driving it, you can tell that the tranny's dry, that it hasn't, there isn't any fluid correctly in the tranny, which I'm guessing is probably because it has a severe oil leak somewhere and it has all dripped out and it's in a big puddle somewhere where this thing originally came from. Um, the three points not working. You can feel pressure in the lines right here, but there's not enough pressure to absolutely run the three point of the system. If you walk around back here, the draw bar is seen better days and it's going to need to be straightened. Um, and then I noticed these, these fenders are cast iron and both of them are cracked and and have been broken i think this is a brace somebody put on this one to fix it but it's got these cool little cast iron toolboxes the lids are missing but those are really cool uh the tractor's front wheel assist 
and it seems that the front wheel assist is working correctly on it. Um, it has high low, and I to feel to me that the high low is working and stuff. Um, the steering wheel, I am not for sure if it is original, but that nice al aluminum steering wheel. Um, so this is a 69 and it is the white and blue Lamborghini blue um, um, paint scheme of it. And I was doing some research and this is right where they switched over. So all the tracks, so Lamborghini tractors, to give you a little history, Lamborghini tractors started right after World War II. And the first Lamborghini tractor came out, built out of World War II surplus in Italy in like 48. And they built a few for a while. The first production Lamborghini tractors was like 51, 52. And they built tractors all the way through the 50s. And those tractors were orange and blue. In 1960, they changed the tractors to white and blue. And, that is, and they built them all the way up. And I do believe that the Lamborghini Tractor Company is now owned by Fiat. But I could be wrong by that. So don't hold me to it. Don't put write that down as, as deal. I don't think they still own themselves so anymore but they are still producing lamborghini tractors and a long time or a few years ago i was joking with uh joe about we should become a lamborghini tractor dealer here in the united states i just thought that would be funny to try to sell lamborghini tractors here in the united states now would i secede at that i don't know but the thing is, they won't ship Lamborghini tractors to the United States, so you couldn't do it if you wanted to. I actually looked into it just out of curiosity to see if it was possible, and it's not possible. So, but um, there's a few other things I noticed. There is, uh, on the dash here, it is all rusted out and stuff. But here's the thing that you got to, so this is the thing that makes sure, that not make sure, but shows you how tired this little donkey is. So when you go to start this thing, dock. So mid throttle, take her out of gear, take the high low out and stuff. Here you go, guys. When you first start this thing, after it's been sitting for a while, it needs a shot of vitamin E or some WD-40 because it will not start otherwise. Um, it, it just will not go. But, and I don't know. I, so it definitely, definitely a very tired girl. Uh, I noticed down here earlier today that the bracket for holding the hood is broke and they just used a piece of metal. So she needs some serious TLC. The uh, fuel filter's linking. That hose is very dry rotted. So I don't know what Tyler's plans are and we won't know that until Tyler does his thing on this tractor and which hopefully he'll do it here soon. But um, when he comes and takes a look at this tractor and uh, we, uh, we discuss what's going on, if we're going to be fixing this tractor or or, or what um she is very very uh like i said she's a tired old donkey and she's worked very hard in her life you can tell she's been sitting outside i did notice down here that there's some toro weights but um well doc do you want to take her out of here get her out of the shop before she smokes out the boys here's the funny part is uh, this thing was definitely made for small Italian men who work in the uh, vineyards. So, uh, 
Yeah, watch Doc get up here. It's hilarious. It was even worse for me. You should have seen me get up there. That was super funny. But, uh... Uh, Daniel, you want to open the big door? Take the little donkey out, Daniel. I, I think, yeah, there's... At least the shift pattern makes sense. Yeah, it's very similar to an international shift pattern. Step out into the Kansas wind. That's a German Bosch pump on there. Three points not working, and you got to tie those arms up, or they just sit there and bounce. So, but anyways, that is the little donkey in action. Cute little tractor, though. You got to admit, it is an adorable little tractor. And just a little love, I think you can bring her back to all its Italian wonder. So guys, that's the little Italian donkey, uh, the little Lamborghini. Um, it's a very interesting little tractor. They definitely do some things a little bit different than we do on American tractors and stuff. Um, but um, I don't know what Tyler's plans are. I don't know what Tyler's what's going to happen with it. Um, I don't know if he's going to have us fix up all the things that need to be fixed on it. Uh, Doc thinks that he could probably repair it. The hardest part for this tractor is going to be finding parts here in the States for it. I did a little research after it came in, just out of curiosity because I couldn't help myself. And I was having a terrible time finding parts for an R230. Um, so, and I just think, I think if I'm wrong, I could be wrong. I think it might be a one year production, 69, that's it. Because in 1970, there's an R235, which is the same, which is another 35 horsepower tractor. This is a 35 horsepower tractor. That's a 35 horsepower tractor. So they did something, they changed. And they didn't continue this model maybe and for a reason. So I don't know what's difference between the two. If 135, or if 235 parts fit, 230 parts are the same. Maybe there's just something small difference between them. Because I know absolutely jack about the mechanics of a Lamborghini tractor. So this would be a whole new world and a very interesting project to get up and get going and get back to right. So, Doc, like, so, you know, so, but anyway, so... Anyways, guys, thanks for coming in. Thank you for watching. If you're new and you came in from Tyler's channel, welcome. So you got Crazy D's equipment. Uh, please subscribe. Please stick around if you like tractors and stuff because we have tons and tons of that coming. You never know what we're going to be up to. And, um, yeah, guys, I've always wanted a Lamborghini and play or, or at least be around or see one up close. So, finally, a 
a Lamborghini tractor. Thank you guys. I'll catch you next week.